It's time for Fast Five, baby. Hey, everybody. Fast Five. That is not Jay Walker. Way better. Look. True or false? Roger Federer is one of the best three athletes of the 21st century. True. Why is it true? Because he's the best in the history of the sport. How could he not be one of the best athletes of the 21st century? True. I'm going to say false. When I think athlete, I think of a guy like Bo Jackson, who was an all-star in both baseball and uh, in football. Battle round. Was Rajon Rondo a good signing for the New Orleans Pelicans? No. Talk about malcontent. You know, this cat won a championship with the Celtics. He had some solid veterans around him, went to the Dallas Mavericks and completely just trashed the place. I see trouble on the horizon for the New Orleans Pelicans. Actually, he's going to start. It's a good signing if the Pels don't go south and the season doesn't go awry, because what were their other options? It's better to have him on a one-year deal worth less than five mil. Donkey round in seven seconds or less. With rookies reporting to Saints training camp this week, which rookie will have the biggest impact in 2017? Forget about the two first round picks. It is Marcus Williams. The second round pick is going to be a stud for the Saints. Alvin Kamara. Saints needed a third down back. They got one. Catch is going to catch every ball. Move the chain. Donkey round in seven seconds or less. Should Cajun baseball fans be concerned about All-American pitcher Gunnar Leje's status for 2018? No, you should be worried about Gunnar Leje, but not about the fans. They probably would never expected Gunnar Leje to be back next year anyway. Of course, it's up in the air. He's going to be rehabbing into January. They'll make a decision then. Concern? Yeah, a little. It's time for the winner and loser of the week. Winner of the week is Roger Federer, who already... Um, had 18 Grand Slam titles, make it 19, eight Wimbledons, the best male tennis player ever, and this donkey doesn't even think he's one of the best athletes of this century. Roger Federer wins again, and he's done the impossible, Steve. In today's day and age of social media and people just wanting to poop on everything, whenever you're the best at something and you beat everybody at something, a lot of people don't like you. Guy's universally loved by his competitors across the sporting world. He is the ultimate winner of the week. Loser of the week, I'm going to take the Boston Celtics. Why? One of my pet peeves. These donkeys actually signed Paul Pierce to a one-day contract so he could retire with the team. Look, if it was that big of a deal, they would have never let him go in the first place. He never would have left. I understand it's business, but if you want to sign him to a one-day contract, he has to play one game with the team. All of this business about signing one-day contracts. The Saints want to sign Ricky Jackson right now to a one-day contract so he could retire with the team. He has to play one game. So none of that fool that's silly in the world of sports. The Boston Celtics get the uh, loser of the week for signing Paul Pierce to a one-day contract. That's it for Fast Five. We'll see you next week.